everyone welcome back to another RGM garage episode and today we're gonna be finally working on the rear subframe on the Ayabusa Right guys, so before anything I just want to say that if you find any problems with the audio, I apologize in advance. Um, I seem to have been having some problems with the microphone or the transmitter or the receiver something as is a wireless microphone. Remember also to like the videos, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and um, tell your friends so that is the other way you can help the channel to grow so let's jump straight in to the bike get this video rolling so I have finally received these little pieces um, I've designed this so that they go at the end of the tube just like so and they'll be welded all around and uh, spot uh, well drilled and spot welded as well and then these little pieces will be machined or grind, cut, whatever, made to fit the original Hayabusa frame. Very kindly, my very good friend Mark has lent me his uh, welder back there. And uh, I've been doing a little bit of practice. Uh, these are the results. This is the first piece I made. Literally just stuck a piece in there. That's it made sure I laid a good bit, made sure I could stick the two pieces together and was penetrating enough, but I uh, don't know if you can see. There's quite a lot of spatter and uh, it's not really the, the best results. I played a bit with the settings, carry on trying and these are the results I, I got. So, these were the first welds I laid, carry on by these ones and these ones and uh, again trying to play with the settings and see what I can do and what not. To be honest, for the first time I've ever used a MIG welder, I'm quite impressed. Um, there's not so much spatter and uh, the part can be easily cleaned. So after that piece I decided to practice something different and this is what I'm gonna have to do um, on the bike. So I got a piece of tube. So I got a piece of tube. I'm sorry that's the best I can do on focusing but I hope you're able to see it and um, so I cut the end off, I round it, made to fit inside um, on the outside circumference of it and just weld it in and um, it's fairly okay to be honest, I'm quite impressed. So another thing that I've tested is down here, it's a plug weld. So you know all in all I'm quite happy with the results. I'm happy to proceed with this project. So the first thing I'm going to do is to resume to the board, check the measurements and match the measurements to what I want to do in here.
that's the first part of the uh, subframe done that's two top mounts I just need to do the two bottom mounts now and um, I think the next thing I'm gonna do is cut one side cut it tap it or drill it tap it and mount it to the frame so wish me luck let's see how this goes <laughs> So they dry enough to put them on a the bike and see how they look. So let's get this on. going forward with this uh, subframe and uh, the primary idea is to push the seat forward and lower down so my partner can be more uh, <laughs> <laughs> so she can be a bit more comfortable on it and give it a better look as well so going forward this under tray <laughs> so that I can mount the battery and all the electronics in here um, and after that is to as you can see there's a hole in here it has to be extended so that it covers everything so it doesn't get any water or debris that's what happened when you have the kids in isolation go for it <laughs> <laughs>
So yeah, as I was saying, hello little one. <coughs> so extend this bit here so there's no water going inside the electrics and cover the sides as well. But uh, first things first, let's get this one into place and see what I can do with it. So this was pretty close to what I need, but this space is where I would put the battery. So this means that the battery will have to be relocated, relocated. So I think that the battery the battery that are the battery will live in here under the pillion seat so let's see what i can do of it started digging into the wiring and I got to a point where I just started to uh, open the full wiring so that I can see what goes where and I can move some of the wiring around uh, that's a regulator rectifier this is where it's gonna live uh, I drilled the hole on this side there's a threaded hole on on here already I believe that's for the GSX R1000 regulator rectifier um, but obviously it doesn't fit onto this one it has to be rubber mounted it's got a couple of um, rubber washers here on in between but I will have to do something about it and uh, make it more vibration isolated um, I will start digging into the wiring loom and see what I can do but that's for another episode um, about the subframe as you see is built uh, we'll order new uh, rear foot pegs for the pillion and uh, they will mount somewhere around here which I will have to weld uh, well cut drill tap and weld a plate to mount them but this is the plan to put them somewhere around here. I'm sorry that I lost a lot of the footage of me building this. Um, I've got it. I'm now filming on my phone because the camera card has completely packed up 
uh, I can't get anything out of it uh, and that's when I lost the footage so I can't get a SD card right now um, current quarantine everything is shut we're not allowed out I will have to order one so well I hope you enjoyed the videos if you like it put a thumbs up and drop your comments below all right see you later ciao Oh, 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 oh,